guys, this is just a guess, um, a little bit of a, a time lapse of me making a new event for my uh, Roblox game. You should definitely join. Link in the description, actually. So uh, here, I was thinking making like an airplane crash kind of thing happening. So I guess I just decided to start making a fuselage. I didn't know what size I should make it, so I just went with that. I think it looks pretty good. Um, here I kind of realized that I don't have to manually make the welds myself. I could just use the plugin. So I, I, I use my plugin. Um, here, I I I had a really hard time making the um actual like cockpit because it was kind of a hard shape to get done. The bottom I had no troubles with. I've made cockpits before, but this part like the top part was a little bit of an issue because it was kind of com complicated for me um these windows i would say don't look the best the cockpit just doesn't look great entirely it's not a great cockpit um the reason it's red right now is because it's just a temporary color i'll color that in just a second here i think uh it's a, pr it's a pretty good color. I was thinking about making it a DHL color with like red highlights on it, but I was like, mm, I don't, mm, it's not very original. So yeah, there I just used a plugin called Magic Wand to select all that. And I guess I'm gonna start scripting now here. So what that kind of does is it makes it so if any of the parts were touched, it will automatically collapse like that. So as you saw, I'm just, currently testing it right now it's not in a working state right now it's not the, the best looking so the debris means like the debris service is like so you can add an item to it and pretty much what will happen is you can set an item and you can also set a specific time so it'll automatically get deleted so I don't have to do any extra scripting it's just that one line so pretty much I'm now making the wings. This went through a lot of like iterations. I didn't I didn't really like the way the wings looked here. Um the wings the wings turned out pretty good here. I don't know why I kind of switched up the way I was building it, the um entire engine like it was I I was doing um I was doing a uh, union, but I was like, oh, but I can't make it fall apart in pieces. So I couldn't union it. I, I think it would be better if it could like actually fall apart into many pieces. So here I'm just setting the uh, origin so I can easily like flip it over without an issue. I kind of did the, I was sitting here for like a minute and a half trying to set the same size, but yeah. Now I'm gonna make the tail. The tail is actually pretty easy to make. It's not that long, but I think it looks, it fits the airplane. Especially for this old Robloxy kind of style, but with good lighting, because, you know, lighting is better. Um, I, I think the tail looks pretty nice. Uh, I did, I think I did a pretty good job on it. It looks pretty nice. Um, I, I, I really didn't know how I should put the hierarchy, so I eventually, at the end, I just make one group called body, and then I just straight up, yeah. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up, like, blocks so I can roughly set the positioning of how I want it to be, so I can randomly pick one of the positions, and I can make the airplane face it and go right into it and crash into it. So, that part, I went through a lot of iterations because I was, like, so confused on how I could do it. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm currently setting up this red part. I called it the, um, pretty sure I just called it Transform or, I think I just called it Transform or Origin. I don't know. Primary. Probably just, yeah, I called it Primary. So, and then I just made it so it, yeah, okay. So, there's a little bug there. It was kind of facing the wrong way. But that was a pretty easy fix. I just had to rotate it a little bit. Um, I thought that was a pretty easy fix, actually. So, yeah, that wasn't too hard. Eventually, at the end, you'll see me just set the origin size to 1. But, um, yeah. So, here I'm defining a variable for pause. So, I can call that same exact position multiple times. So, it's not changing every single time. So, the plane's looking at one point on the island. And it's going to a different point on the island. I think th that's, like, not great. So, yeah. Um, so the plane here, I think 
yeah, the plane had some issues here. I was really confused why I wasn't staying together until I figured out that I had to set the four solve it to like a bajillion, quadrillion. So, yeah. <laughs> um, funny story. I'm using a deprecated function for a lot of things in here. So, that's, that's kind of funny. Here, I was so confused. At this point, it was just like, yeah, see, you could see it wasn't falling apart like I intended it to. See, it would just spaz out and it wouldn't do anything. So here, I, I figured out a fix for it later on. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just causing havoc. It's not really doing what I wanted it to do at all. So I think I'm, I, I, I figured it out. It was, it was a pretty easy fix, but it took a while to troubleshoot. And then, uh, yeah, and then I changed the way I welded things because it wasn't working that well. And then I also realized that when it was touching the primary part of the entire model, it was still deleting itself, so it wouldn't stay together. So I had to also tag the primary part with plane, because I didn't want to, because next time I'd clear all the children to redo the welding, it would just clear the body positioning, so that, yeah. Because those are deprecated, it was kind of hard to get. And by hard to get, I mean I just used a plug-in, but yeah. So... It's kind of chaotic, like in the name here. At this point, like, it's just chaotic. It's kind of, I was so confused. Like, why is it, um, I was like really confused. Like, why, why aren't you falling apart like I wanted you to? So then until I figured it out. So, yeah. When I figured it out, though, it kind of didn't even work. It was, de again, it was detecting it, like, being touched by the primary part. So it would just they collapse in the middle of the air like it would just fall right into the ocean like in millions of pieces so it, it didn't do what i wanted it to do really but it, it was a pretty good attempt to it um <clears throat> i fixed it though so that's that, that makes me happy fix equals happy um i was listening to music this entire time so don't mind the constant spotify appearances The, um, the plane I made, I I think I could do better on it, but I'm going to leave it because it looks old Robloxy and crappy. So I'm going to leave it, and it, I think it fits in the game very well. There you can see I got a new plug-in for welding it all. Um, so, yeah, and then I realized, oh, it's falling again, so I had to add the body position to the, the plane again, set the force, and look at that. It works again. So... Now I'm just registering the event into it. Um, I decided to put an emoji in the text for it because who, who says I shouldn't, you know? Um, I was kind of driving around, flailing around like a crazy man until I figured out another bug that wasn't really part of what I was trying to do today. So I figured it out. It was because of... Um, well, it was like the, as you can see, it says I have no money. It says I have like, I, I mean, wins. it doesn't have like, it's completely broken at this point. So I had to figure it out. And it was kind of pretty simple. I was uh, doing it wrong. In the uh, on player ad script that I have, I was defining data store service, game dot data store service. I, I should have done game get service data store service. Because um, I think I may have spelled data store service cr incorrectly. So there there was an issue there. Um, here, I I'm think I'm pretty happy with what I got here. It's I'm just currently fixing my banning system. So yeah, because I, I thought that was the issue, but it wasn't. And, uh, and then I realized it's not... Um, it's not loading in events. And then I realized I forgot a single comma a singular comma like a, a, why is there a single comma that i missed how how do i miss a single like okay whatever so it um it's working now guys so thanks for watching and i hope to see you again sometime soon bye bye